Hi guys, what's up? This is Manas Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a new tutorial on level number two and it is for a line inclined to both the planes. That is, it's going to be horizontal plane as well as vertical plane inclination. So simultaneously, we'll be taking a look at uh, the projection of a line when it is inclined to both HP as well as VP. And this is going to be problem number one and it goes like this. A straight line 55 mm long makes an angle of 30 degrees to the HP and 45 degrees to the VP. The end A is 15 mm above HP and 12 mm in front of VP. Draw its projection. So guys, this over here, this 55 mm which you see is what you call the true length of the line and it makes a certain angle with the HP that is 30 degrees. So I've written down theta is equal to 30 degrees and we have this 45 degrees with us that is going to be uh, the inclination of the line made with the vertical plane. So phi is going to be 45 degrees. Now, as far as uh, end point is concerned, so we have this end A and its uh, distance from HP as well as VP has been given to us. H is equal to 15 mm. So the height of this particular point above the horizontal plane has been given as 15, uh, whereas this point itself uh, lies at a distance of 12 millimeter in front of the VP. So we have this in the form of H A and D A. Now, switching over to the problem side, we have this, uh, what you call the X Y line. And since this whole line lies in the first quadrant, we have this policy of first quadrant, which says that H is going to lie above X, Y and D is going to lie below. So 15 above and 12 below. And uh, by that policy, we have this. So I'm going to go 15 steps above. All right. So from here, 15 above and then 12 below. So here I'm having this point since this is H and it's going to be accompanied with a dash. So A dash will come here since it's a front view and this is going to be A, simply A. Now we are going to incline this 55 mm long line at an angle of 30 degrees. So this is what we're going to do right now. So let's have this 55 mm long line at an angle of 30 degrees. Now this point over here corresponds to what you call point B1 dash. All right. So this over here is the true length of the line which I have made right now and it was 55 millimeters long. Next thing to do is to incline this line with the vertical plane and for that we have this and this inclination that it makes with the vertical plane has been given to us as 45 degrees. So I'm going to draw a line over here 55 mm long and it is going to be inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Well, that's it guys. So this is going to be my true length uh, when you look at it from the top. So this is going to be point um, B to find. Now I'm going to draw the locus line. So locus of B in front view. So this is going to be the locus line of point B in front view. And then we have this locus line over here. That is locus line of B in top view. You simply need to pass a line and this is going to be a construction line from B to. Now, Next thing to do is to draw locus lines from A dash and A and it should look something like this. Please watch carefully, something like this. And we're going to repeat this for A also. All right, fine. So this is done. And the next thing to do is to produce this line in the downward direction from B1 dash until it intersects the locus of A somewhere here. So guys, this point over here is going to be what you call point B1, simply B1 because uh, the corresponding top view of B1 dash is going to be B1. So we will write B1 over here. Similarly, we are going to move this point in the upper direction and this would become what you call B2 dash. All right. So corresponding front view of B2 is going to be B2 dash. Fine. Next thing to be done is to rotate these points. Now guys, you can see that we are going to take A dash as the center and A dash B2 dash and as radius and we're going to rotate this until it intersects this horizontal line somewhere here. So this over here, when you join this with a line corresponds to our final front view and it's going to look something like this. Let me darken this. That's it. Okay. So this over here is what you call point B dash. Okay. The next thing to be done is to take A as center and AB1 as radius. All right. And you need to rotate this in the clockwise sense until it intersects this locus line of B in top view. And th that intersection point has to be then joined with A so that you can have yourselves the final top view. 
so this is guys uh, so this guys is going to be our final top view i need to darken this up all right so this is the overall prediction of a line which is inclined to both hp as well as vp so this is finally going to be my point b line a dash b dash corresponds to final front view this ab corresponds to final top view both final front view and final top view make angle of alpha and beta with xy lines respectively all right so guys that was all from my side uh, until then bye bye take care and keep drawing